Do you feel that you still have unfinished important tasks at the end of yet another super busy workday? Or do you feel like you're struggling to get your most important work done every single day? If so, this video will help you to get your most important work done every day in four simple steps. And these ideas come from the book, Make Time, where authors Jake Knapp and John Zeratsky share a framework for making time for what is most important to you. This framework will help you understand how to become more intentional about the way you live your life and make time for what's truly important to you, like your family, your business, your health, your wealth. So, Before we dive into the big ideas of this book, let's understand why you should make time. You see, there are two forces that are constantly eating up your time, the busy bandwagon and the infinity pools. Well, the busy bandwagon is the culture of being constantly busy where you're running around like crazy, your inboxes are overflowing, your calendars are packed, you have endless to-do lists. The mindset here is that to meet the demands of the workplace, you have to be productive all the time. So you should be doing something every single moment, checking email, checking your calendar, your social media, your phone, your text, all of those things. The busy bandwagon just defaults to endless tasks and makes you extremely reactive in life. You're constantly responding to what is in front of you and end up being efficient rather than being effective. And there's a big difference between being efficient and being effective. You see, being efficient is very dangerous when you're not being effective. Now, the other thing, infinity pools are the rewards you give yourself when you feel exhausted from the busy bandwagon. After working just for a short while, you look for ways to reward yourself. So you go feed on endless content from sources like Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube, Netflix, email, all of those things. And now you're stuck in this constant loop of the busy bandwagon and the infinity pool and end up getting constantly pulled in different directions all the time. Now, the only way to get over this loop is to pause and ask yourself, what do I want in life? What would happen if I could override these defaults and live life the way I intend to? Now, let's understand how you can gain more control of your life through these four distinct steps that I'm about to give you. Step one is to highlight your priorities. Highlight refers to the part of your day or the activity that you would like to focus on. A great way of implementing this step is by scheduling and blocking time for your highlights or priorities. You should know exactly when you intend to work on your highlights and block time on your calendar accordingly. Be very specific about how much time will any specific task take and when will you do it. There's a really interesting story about the authors and their friend, Graham Jenkins. So Graham Jenkins led the redesign of AdWords at Google. He used to manage a team of 20 people. What was commendable was that Jenkins was able to give his personal attention and support to each one of his team members while being able to redesign AdWords. People often wondered how he got so much done and assumed that he was working very long hours, but that wasn't the case. His schedule was 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., just like a lot of typical corporate workers. Interestingly, Graham Jenkins had a fantastic hack. He scheduled 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. daily as his own time and did not allow anyone to schedule anything during those hours. In fact, he used a daily do not schedule block to help keep his highlights intact or undisturbed. Another thing, he was very aware of the fact that the day was going to be full of distractions, but he had to own his early morning time to get his most important work or the highlights done. So Graham Jenkins devoted five hours of his time, 6 a.m. to 11 every day for high quality work. Imagine how much work you could accomplish if you had these five hours of uninterrupted time every single day. Now, the second step is to maintain laser sharp focus. Laser is about overcoming distractions while focusing on the present moment or on your highlights. Research shows that we are getting more and more distracted every single day. According to Apple, people unlock their phones 80 times a day. And according to the research firm Dscout, people touch their phone 2,617 times every single day. So if you want to produce high quality stuff, you have to be laser focused to effectively achieve the highlights that you have decided upon. 
Now, let's understand this through a scenario that is way too familiar to all of us. One day, you decide to spend quality time with your family, but before you know it, you're getting distracted by your phone, responding to people's priorities, emails, calendar notifications, Facebook, Instagram, all of which leaves you very frustrated. The challenge is we need to be laser focused on what is most important to us at any given time and let go of everything else that becomes a distraction at the time. So here are some effective ways to handle distractions. Number one, start by defining an email schedule. If you're constantly struggling with email, define a clear email schedule. Make sure you respond to your emails at the end of the day so that you actually have a clear head throughout the day. The problem is if you're reading your emails all day long, you're going to be constantly distracted by them. Research suggests that checking emails less often leads to less stress while still being able to stay ahead of things. Second, leave devices behind. The next step to implement laser focus is to put your devices away while you're working. For example, leave it in another room while you're working on an important project or just pack your phone and keep it away so that you're totally focused on your work. When you don't have your phone in front of you, you're forced to spend time and think for yourself. There's research which proves that leaving your devices away for a while improves your sleep and focus too. Now, if you would like to find out more about a highly effective way to get laser focused, just keep watching this video till the end because I have something really special for you that I think you will enjoy. The third step in this process is to energize. One of my favorite ways to energize is to get off the grid and spend time in nature. In Japan, since 1982, the government has encouraged the practice of Shinrin Yoku or forest bathing, where one basically spends time in the forest. Studies on Shinrin Yoku have revealed that even a brief exposure to a forest lowers your stress level, stabilizes your heart rate, and your blood pressure. A 2008 study from the University of Michigan compared cognitive performance of people walking in a park versus people taking a walk in the city. It revealed that people walking in the park were 20% calmer and sharper versus the people walking in the city. Another way to get off the grid and replenish yourself is through meditation. Your brain is constantly thinking. It does not get any rest. Meditation helps in giving you that rest that you need. It reduces stress. It increases your happiness levels. It improves your focus. And it also provides exercise for the brain. Now, the fourth and final step in this process is to reflect. Reflection is a huge part of being productive as it helps you become aware of how you're spending your time and you understand how you can improve on it. A great way to start is by maintaining a journal every evening to help you reflect on your day. This helps you understand what worked and what didn't. So these are the four core concepts from Make Time. And now you might think that you know and implement them all. But in reality, most of the times, you're not even implementing these concepts for more than 10% of your time on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of your workday might be dribs and drabs of focus time, but a lot of distractions, right? I know it's happening to you. The problem, the reason why you know these concepts, but you're not applying these concepts is because you lack external accountability. Well, the good news is now you don't have to struggle to do it all by yourself holding yourself accountable to do this every single day, every single hour. Instead, we have done this work for you. That's why we created Focus Blocks, where you come and co-work with us in a live co-working setting where we actually implement these four key steps highlighted in this book. We begin by helping you identify your most important tasks that you need to focus on for that hour. Then we ask you to turn off all distractions. And because you're in a live Zoom room with a focus guide and everyone's camera is on, you turn off all distractions and notifications and work on your most important task for 50 minutes nonstop. Now, before we end the meeting, we ask you to reflect on your progress and share it with the group. And then we take a moment to breathe, to meditate, to relax, to recharge, and then we do this all over again. And what's even better is we do this every hour 24 hours a day, Monday through Friday. So if you truly want to implement what we just learned in Make Time and be more productive, then get yourself a free seven-day trial of Focus Blocks by going to focusblocks.io or clicking on the link below. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the blocks.